that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings. But now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet.
Hello, I'm Nightmare, and welcome to Soul Calibur 6. So, I've been sick, that's why I haven't been on for a while, and you can still hear it, I'm still kind of stuffy. So, we're going to deal with that. I'm going to turn this down a little bit here. Hopefully the audio is right. I've been rearranging my office a little bit, so I'm still trying to get some stuff worked out here. Uh, yes. So, I think we're going to do story mode. And maybe we'll come back and do the Libra stuff um, at some point, if you want me to play that. The Chronicle of the Souls 1. Soul Edge. Its story reaches far back into the darkest depths of history. In the 16th century, the legend tried to rear its ugly head again. And yes, I'm playing on my computer, so... Hmm. Transcending history and the world. A tale of souls and swords eternally retold. Soul Edge. A legendary sword and devourer of souls. Buried in the darkest reaches of history, it was brought back to light in the 16th century. The notorious pirate Cervantes claimed the sword as his own, setting everything into motion. Soul Edge adapted itself to its new owner by splitting into two. Possessed by the evil weapons, Cervantes began a bloody reign of terror, slaying all those seeking the swords without prejudice. Cervantes was eventually undone. Under the protection of Hephaestus, the god of smithing, a female warrior named Sophitia was able to destroy one of the swords. Shards of the blade flew and lodged into her body, causing near mortal wounds. Seeing his chance, Cervantes raised his sword to deliver the final blow. Suddenly, there appeared a ninja known as Taki, who rescued the wounded warrior. Taki defeated Cervantes in a battle to the death before carrying the injured Sophitia away. However, one of Soul Edge's two blades still remained. Perhaps it was fate. The blade fell into the hands of Siegfried, whose mind was twisted and unwell. If you guys have played anything Soul Carver, you know all this story. So this is just like a recap. So bright. Nightmare. A pillar of light pierced the heavens, the product of rampant evil. The evil seed. No one could have predicted it would become a catalyst for catastrophe across the world. Our story takes place in the 16th century. Okay. Mm. When the evil seed emanated from the cursed blade one faithful day in Spain, it released a white light that burst forth, aff afflicting the lands far and wide, even as far as a field as Ling Sheng Su. A tragedy befell this place. Ling Shen Su Temple was a famous martial arts school in the far reaches of China. It was there Killick learned to master the staff after he was abandoned as a child. Killick ate and slept with the other students and began his training at a young age. Despite this, he established a family-like bond with just one other student, Shang Len. A young girl who was like an elder sister. Kilik's probably one of my favorite characters. Dedicated to the way of the sword, she looked after Kilik as if they were siblings. So close was their bond that when one felt happy or sad, the other would feel the same. Together they studied and grew as warriors. The 
years passed by. Killick's skill earned him a place as a teacher, an honorable position for one so young. Throughout the ages, Ling Sheng Su Temple had kept hold of the three sacred treasures, Krita Yuga, Devapara Yuga, and Kali Yuga. Killick's years of arduous training earned him the title of rightful bearer of the staff, Kali Yuga. Likewise, Shang Len was also designated bearer of Devapara Yuga, a sacred mirror. Hmm. Our story begins on the night before the ritual for passing the treasures on to their new Hi, masters. Hi, Dark. How are you? Shang Lin, can I ask you something? Sure. How come you were chosen to bear Devapara Yuga? <sighs> I thought you'd get Krita Yuga. After all, you've dedicated your life to the sword. <sighs> Kalek. This is not easy for me to talk about, but I'm going to try. So stop asking me. The Krita Yuga, it's no longer at Ling Shang Su. The sword has been gone for more than a decade. All that's left is the Kali Yuga and the Devapara Yuga. Really? Surprised? Well, there's more. The one who stole the Krita Yuga was none other than my father. That bastard. That's why I don't have the right to bear it. If I were to accept the sword, everyone would be up in arms. That's why even though it was offered to me, I decided to decline. Of course, I love Ling Shang Su, and I do wish to see my studies through to their conclusion. It's just... I... I just don't want the sacred treasures, or my status as a sacred bearer, or anything else to hold me back. You know what the monks say. Fate, Fate is, is carved, carved with, with your, your own, own hands. hands. When I spoke to them about that, they decided to let me bear Devapara Yuga instead. Now I can feel proud that I'm a sacred bearer just like you. I'm doing okay. How are um, you? You know something, Killick? What? Uh, it's okay. Never mind. I just want to tell I'm you really that you're hot. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. Me too. And so it was. Killick and Shang Len were set to attend the official ritual for becoming sacred bearers. But the night before the ritual, a terrible calamity plunged everything into chaos. Drawn by the Kali Yuga in Killick's hand, the evil seed came to Ling Shen Su Temple. The monks, driven insane by the evil force, began slaying each other, turning the temple into hell on earth. That voice actor, the announcer, I met him at a Comic Con one year. His booth was next to mine. It was pretty cool. I can't remember his name. It's like St. James or something. Am I gonna get a fight yet? I wanna fight! I don't understand. Everyone, stop this madness! Yeah. Who's this? I love anime. Anime is amazing. It's kill or be killed. Huh? 
Chang Lin? Get a hold of yourself, Chang Lin. So they're like possessed. When Keelik awoke, he found himself in unfamiliar cave temple. While he was passed out, an old man had been taking care of him. Aside from identifying himself as a weapons expert from Ling Sheng Su, the old man spoke little. Uh, where am I? <clears throat> Did you save me? Who are you? <sighs> you have yet to recover from your injuries. Rest. And that mirror, Devapara Yuga, wear it always. There will be grave consequences if you do not. Understand? <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I, I know that. I I know the whole story about Soul Calibur, but I don't remember the other Soul Caliburs them being possessed like that. Have you not realized yet? You are being protected. Devapara Yuga suppresses the evil within you. Evil? The old man proceeded to tell a tale. He told Killick about the evil seed. How Devapara Yuga had pulled Killick back from the brink of insanity. How Kali Yuga had the ability to absorb power, and how it was falling under an evil spell. And finally, he told Killick about Soul Edge. Your fate will be set in stone the moment you lose your will to live. Your soul will be swallowed whole by your destiny, leaving behind but a rotten corpse. That is but one path you may take. Right, yeah. But perhaps it is the path you wish to take. To submit to that evil sword and its wicked power? Is that what you wish? To become a thrall? Do you see? All is in your hands. Shang Lin, she, she told me fate is carved with your own hands. Shang Lin gave her life so I could live. That leaves me only one choice. From that day forth, Killick bore the heavy weight of his karma. As Shang Lin's slayer and the last living member of Ling Sheng Su, he chose to face his cruel fate head on. A mysterious visitor. Kalik chose to fight against his fate, and as such began a period of intense training under the guidance of the old man, Edgemaster. If you continue upon this path, the evil within you will create a second soul edge out of Kali Yuga. The only reason you and Kali Yuga have yet to succumb is because of Devapara Yuga's power. Hmm. However, all is not lost. 
You can learn to control the evil within. Yes, Master. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured, Dark. Is that it? If this tests you so dearly, how do you intend to stand up to evil? <sighs> Sorry, Master. To control evil, you must first control yourself. Mastering your own will is the key to overcoming malice. Yes, Master. The enemy is powerful. You must stand strong, whoever your opponent. Uh, yes, Master. I want to fight, game. Yeah. Killing. Bring me some battles. Opponent awaits. Thank you. Who? Sometimes things reveal themselves when you fight. I understand, Master. All right. I don't really like my computer controller. I need to order a new one because I just don't care for it. I'm Battle one. Fight. <laughs> sure what that is that something must be new for this game or at least I don't remember that from the other ones oh you're getting a little harder now I'm not used to this controller <laughs> gamer <laughs> that's just a gamer complaint isn't it blame it on the controller What's the grab on this? Ooh. So what is that? I don't remember that. Yeah, Soul Calibur's always been so, too much dialogue. Did you learn something? Yes. I believe I felt how delicate the balance is between myself and evil. I see. Is my microphone loud enough, Dark? The time has almost come. Master? It is nothing. What are you doing? You have yet to finish your training for the day. Yes, Master. The final test. Though the arduous training lasted three years, it seemed to pass by in the blink of an eye. The evil harbored within Kilik and Kali Yuga was being kept at bay by the Depara Dep Yuga. However, with it threatening to spill over at any moment, the only time he was able to feel anything approachable, approaching peace was during intense training. Kilik. You have borne the burden of your training well. Yes, Master. Now we shall see how you fare against me. Uh oh. <sighs> an actual fight with you? It would be an honor. Why do you hold back? Come at me. Yes, Master. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm still not over the yeah, flu I had. I understand why you were chosen to bear Kali Yuga. <sighs> Kilik, a shadow lies upon your soul. Take heed. If it envelops you completely, the evil within you will stir, and in time, tear at your soul until there is nothing left. 
I don't have a soul anyway, so it's okay. That shadow. <laughs> I have shown you how to control evil. The rest is up to you. Yes, Master. Kivik, this will be your final test. You must seal away Soul Edge, the cause of all this madness, and cleanse yourself of evil. Yes, Master. I think I may do the Libra of Souls or whatever, too. Head west. The custom story. If you guys want to see me play to more the of this, that of is. awaits in the heart of a great maelstrom. You must live on, as have I. Oh, I was hoping I got to fight him. Keelix's journey begins. There were several roads that led west, but the most common route was by sea. Once Keelik left the cave, he headed over the Himalayas, then traversed south in search of a fort. So you want to head west, do ya? Guess you are right, cause that's where we're going. But I warns ya, our ship ain't what you call luxurious. I don't care, as long as you're heading west. So, can I join you? Sure, why not? But it could end up costing you a pretty penny. <laughs> huh? Oi, driver! Where's you going? This ain't the way to the dock. Huh? You deaf or something? He's what gonna have the... the red eyes, isn't he? Do <laughs> it! Call it! He's been consumed by evil! I'll kill you! Damn. You leave me no choice. Loading. Loading. Battle one. Fight! Ow. Ow. Damn. Quit spamming. There we go. Saved me. Even us pirates ain't safe from bandits when we's on land. Thanks, matey. <laughs> sure. That has no, no ordinary, ordinary bandit. bandit. It, takes it takes me back, back to that, that night. night. The shadow upon my soul. Holy echo, Batman. Shung Lin. Am I strong enough? The Indian port. At a port on the eastern coast of India, the sailor had he had saved brought Keelik to the ship on which he was a crew member. However, though the ship was indeed heading west, its captain, Maxi, was nowhere to be found. Oh, Maxi. So, you're the guy who saved one of our own? On behalf of our captain, Maxi, I welcome you aboard. But, I'm gonna have to take that mirror from you till we hit land. Sound reasonable? This is one thing I can't give you. Why not? We're just gonna hold on to it. It ain't like it's payment for your ride or nothing. This is a keepsake from my sister. A keepsake, eh? I don't think that you know, voice... I don't know I don't what know I'd what have done, done if it weren't for Maxi. That voice... 
actor doesn't fit that character, I don't think. Okay, fine. I like you. I'll go speak to Maxie for you. You're one of us now. Thank you. Don't mention it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Of his crew. <laughs> You'll see why once you meet him. He ain't been back since he stepped on land. Probably got stuck at the bottom of a glass. <laughs> what the? <sighs> More fighting, yes. What? Ah! Who do you think you are? You got some nerve thinking you can pick a fight with one of us. Hey, kill it, right? You're a passenger, so stand back. No, I want to join in. Yes. I want to in fight. Case, welcome to the crew. It's showtime. Loading. Loading. <laughs> I can't remember the grab. There we go. Take this. Yep. Take this. Too easy. Two more to go. Oh. One more. Fight. Take this. Wow, that was too early. I almost got a perfect on him too. I've actually got them all, surprisingly. I don't have the consoles for some of them, but... It never ends. I don't understand. Why will you not relinquish your ego and let the evil consume you? Who the hell are you? Is it because of that mirror, you fool? Remember the massacre you caused? You let yourself run wild! I shall destroy the mirror and free you from its shackles! Oh, Astroth. <laughs> The Malfested Swarm. The Ryukyu pi born pirate, Captain Maxi, sailed the world with his crew looking for greater adventures, which at present had led them to an Indian port. Overhearing a commotion, Maxi made his way back to his ship expecting to find a simple altercation, but instead was greeted with the sight of an assault on his crew. That son of a... 
he'll pay for this. He will pay. Who the hell are you? <laughs> no matter. <laughs> You're just another sacrifice. Mm. He still needs strong souls to increase his strength. Fall back. Stop right there. What? What's with this guy? We gotta fight him too? Oh, am I Maxi now? He, he's one of us. Okay, so I won't kill him. Just save your strength. So I gotta fight Malfested Keelik now. Oh yeah, I know. I'm not a Soul Calibur newbie, honey. <laughs> Damn, got my work cut out for me. The mirror doesn't My favorite work. characters the are Keely kill and Ivy. I think. love Ivy. Cam. Adios, Cam. Everyone. Take. Take a kill quest. I know, Cam. I know. It's like you said. He's one of us. I ain't leaving him behind. And you know, those guys will be back for him. We will get our revenge. It's the only reason I live for now. Yeah, Maxi is hard to play. I've always thought he was hard to play. When Keelik awoke, Maxi chose not to abdonish him, but instead to console the warrior as he wallowed in the feelings of guilt. As Keelik and Maxi journeyed on together, they ended up becoming close friends. Then one day, a man appeared before them, blocking their way. Mitsurugi. Are you that nunchaku wielder who wants me dead? Maxi? I have no idea what you're talking about. Even so, what's the deal? What? I thought all warriors knew you have to strike first. Hold on a sec. Looks like we're done talking. I may look easy going, but I never back down from a challenge. <laughs> you're sure one plucky fellow. I will honor you with a duel. <laughs> Don't blame me if you get hurt. <laughs> so much ego. Battle one. Fight. Say the high philosophy. Strike or be shot. I can get on board with that. <laughs> 
Stop it, Maxi. <laughs> Yoshimitsu. Stop, Maxi, you dumbass. Did he just say cunts? I'm pretty sure I heard that. Don't let him knock you off. I was always more of the Soul Calibur guy than the Mortal Kombat guy. I mean, I like Mortal Kombat and all, but I always liked Soul Calibur more. Wait, what do you mean you got the wrong person? <laughs> I'm sorry. I am Mitsurugi. So many people want me dead, it's hard to keep track. Mm. Seriously? You may want to rethink your life choices. Well, if you seek Soul Edge, the most powerful weapon ever, you're bound to attract trouble, right? Soul Edge? We've got our own beef with that. Well, this is quite a coincidence. Let me just Winky give you dink. this word of advice. Beware yes. of the ninja Tata. Tira is. Soul Edge and her go hand in hand. Is so Tira long. in this one? The hell was up with that guy? No idea. He put up a good fight. Felix hot. I'll give him that. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Is everyone that's looking for Soul Edge like him? Just try not to overdo it, okay, Maxie? Ha! <laughs> you worry too much. If anything, you're the one we need to keep an eye on. I make joke. Ha ha ha. Felix and Maxie headed west, eventually arriving at an oasis capital and key transport location in the Middle East where they attempted to gather information on Soul Edge. Searching alone, Keelix stumbled upon a park where he had an unexpected encounter with a young woman from Asia. Shang-Hua. What? Is that... Is that... the Ling Shang Su style sword technique? Chang Lin? Why is he staring? They could be twins. Huh? Do we got a fighter? No? Ling Shang Su? I've heard of it. My mother might have trained there when she was younger. She taught me how to use a sword. Admit it, you're impressed. Yeah, I am. You move very, uh, gracefully. <laughs> Thank you. Are you traveling somewhere? Yeah, I'm heading west. Really? Me too. What are you doing around here? I just, you know, happen to be passing through. I see. It must be fate. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> A shadow lies upon your soul. 
So, I'm Shanghua, and you are? I... Hey, Killick! You found someone you want to bring along? Ha <laughs> ha I can't take my eye off you for five seconds, can I? No, it's not... We're going in the same direction. The more the merrier. Thanks, Killick. I, uh... Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. With shang now on board, the duo of Keelik and Maxi become a trio. The further west they headed, the more their target, Soul Edge, came to dominate their conversations. Nightmare? So he's the wielder of Soul Edge? If my investigations are correct, yes. Kind of an over-the-top name, isn't it? <sighs> okay, let's go over everything. They're banded Kind of sound like the uh, Haunted and Mansion theme there nightmare. for a minute. He's friends with the jerk I'm after. A real piece of work called Astaroth. Then there's that lizard freak. And a woman called Ooh. Ivy. Who uses a whip sword. That's one hell of a crew. We could end up facing a whole army. Nightmares are like phantoms. Wherever they appear, they slaughter everyone in sight. They're monsters. What do they want? Who knows? Killick, doesn't your master know anything about all this? I don't know. Uh, well, that's just great. That's just great. Still, whatever we do, I think our paths will cross at some point. Yeah, at some point. Great. As the three companions' journey progressed, a mysterious stranger appeared before them and tried to get close to Keelik. What on earth could they be plotting? stands as it was understood I will make contact shortly right into my trap.
That was a tough one. Show me what you have. Three. Fight! Take this! So it seems my information was sound. I will tell you one thing. Nightmare has established a base in an abandoned castle called Ostrinesburg. Head there if you seek Soul Edge. What? Who the hell are you? Uh. Kalik, are you okay? Yes, fine. Mm. Yes. Tell me, Kalik, who exactly are you? People seem out to get you. I apologize for getting you involved in all this. Stop acting so formal. <laughs> Fine. I'll open up first. I've been hiding something from you. I'm searching for Soul Edge too. Really? My Everybody country, is. The Ming Empire. You know it, right? It's going through some hard times. Violence is the norm. In the hope of saving our land, the Emperor asked me directly to search for the Hero's Sword, also known as Soul Edge. So, that's what I'm trying to do. I may not look like one, but I'm a soldier. <sighs> Surprised? Well, it means I've been involved in this from the start. <laughs> You're the first person I've told. It was supposed to be an Imperial secret. Does that affect things between us? Yeah, I guess so. Sorry. I knew some time ago I would have to tell you everything. So I'll just say it. Soul Edge is evil. It isn't gonna save your empire. Okay. If you say so, it must be true. I thought it was a little strange. How could that so-called hero sword save our land? Okay, that settles it. I'm gonna stick with you, Killick. What? But... My duty is important to me. But I want to know the truth. I want to see it for myself. Please, I got shit all over me. Okay, when this journey's over, escort me back to my land. With Maxie too, of course. No ifs, ands, or buts. What have I gotten myself into? I guess it's fate. Don't you worry about that. I know fate has plunged you into misfortune, but my mother always said, fate is carved with your own hands. <laughs> um, I'm kidding? Oh, right. Never mind then. Oh, hang on one second, guys. Oh, okay, let me uh pause my stream and then I'll be I'll meet you back there. Okay. Bye. I'll be right back, guys.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Once in Europe, the group of travelers headed to Athens, Greece. While soaking up the ancient ambience, Keelik met a lone woman. Sorry about that, guys. Um. Yes? Is something the matter? Oh, my nose is running. Um, no. It's just you look a little sad. Oh, really? Pardon me, but are you a traveler? Well, uh, you could say that. I am too. I mean, I am from this town. I came to this shrine to pray before embarking Sophia. on my journey. You... You're a warrior, aren't you? Yes. I was too. I fought for the longest time. It is why I can never simply pass by someone with as forlorn a countenance as yours. There is something I must do. When you find uh. a reason to fight, you find a reason to punish yourself. I was the same. There are some things we are powerless to do anything about. People speak of fate, but I wonder if there is worth in sacrificing yourself for it. I feel so uncertain. The darkness of the soul can be troubling. It's always with me, like a real shadow, dark and unshakable. Yet all is not lost. I can't just forget the past in order to save myself. It is no bad thing to keep hold of the past. Those dear to you will always be in your memories. Thanks, Still. Dark. The past is the past, if you ask me. There are those you need to protect in the here and now, so you should wear a more fitting expression. Uh, okay. Listen to me babbling on. <laughs> I have to go. Are you okay? Yes. Pain does indeed lie in the past. I shall pray for your safety. As will I. Those I need to protect in the here and now. Keelik and the team made their way towards Osternburg, but before they knew it, they wound up at Lost in a Meadow. When they finally noticed their predicament, they were plunged into confusion as a strange air encompassed them. What's going on over here? Are you sure this is the right way? It should be. I can't believe we got separated from Maxie. Damn it. Look out. <laughs> what the? So you made it this far. Huh? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Is that all it takes to hobble you? If so, do you honestly think you can take on Soul Edge? You're a fool. <laughs> no human can bear that power. I'll stop you here and now before you make contact with the Cursed Sword. H hold on! I won't let you touch Killick. Oh, really? Oh, really? Why do you interfere? You never had anything to do with the sword before. For your own sake, stay out of this. I didn't choose to get involved. But now I'm choosing not to back down. Tell him, honey. Oh, 
I didn't mean to do that. Take that. Tacky is pretty cool. Huh? There's something strange about that sword. How do you like this? Whoa! Ha! What? What's wrong? Had enough? Heh. <laughs> so you controlled the evil yourself. Fair enough. Just take care. Soul Edge is more powerful than ever before. It always the instant is. instant you give yourself over to your shadow, I'll kill you. You've been warned. There's no escape from a ninja with the power to seal. Are you okay, Killick? Yeah. I knew pursuing Soul Edge would be no easy task, but... I need a nap now. Ostrenburg, what was promised to be their final battleground was within their sights. No matter what fate had in store for them, it was too late to turn back now. Stealing his nerves, Keelik made his way into the forest surrounding the abandoned castle. Once we get through this forest. Yep, it's the date we've all been waiting for. Who knows? Might go well. I just don't want to deal with any more freaks. One lizard's enough for me. <laughs> huh? And there they are. Speak of the devil. She just had to open her mouth. Maxi, don't do anything rash. What the? What are you both doing? Oh. Uh. What a cheap shot. Who are you anyway? You've got uh, guts. I like that. I love Ivy. conditions on this one was to start with uh, reduced HP. God damn it. I'm used to having Keelix longer reach. You like this? I can hold my own when I need to. Hmm. I used to be really good with Ivy. Are you okay? 
I'd say that was enough. I have fulfilled my duty. If you want to pursue Nightmare, I don't care. Do as you please. Changhua, you can't go on with your leg like that. No need to sweat it. We're almost to the castle. The forest was littered with traps to ward off invaders. As the trio proceeded through the fallen trees, fate brought them face to face with a giant axe-wielding warrior. Trap. Well, isn't this just peachy? Astroth. <laughs> so the reports were true. What sort of idiots try to enter a castle through the front? <laughs> Leave him to me. I've been looking forward to smacking down this freak. <laughs> so you came here to die. Uh, I gotta fight him with Maxi. Uh... What's this? <gasps> Are you here to help us? This way. Hurry. Um, but what about Maxi? I'm fine. Just go. Impudent fools! You cannot escape me! I'm your problem right now. I'll have revenge for my family. Putrid maggot, you're dead now. That's right. Is it over? Ooh. Talk about a poor loser. Cam, this was for you. So Maxi die then? Poor Maxi. Led by a man dressed in black, Helik and Zhang Hua entered the Ostrenburg Castle. The man walked without hesitation as though he intimately familiar with the layout of the situation of the castle. Get a hold of yourselves. 
her leg. If you cannot fight, you will be left behind. I'm fine. Don't underestimate me. Where are we? Disney's haunted castle. Sorry, Mansion, but rather. I have to attend to my mission now. The rest is up to you. Thank you. Shanghua, you should stay here. Never. I can't turn away now after all we've been through. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay. Mm. Yeah, he's a pain in the butt. Nightmare. <laughs> All right, here we go. Nightmare battle, I take it. First one I've lost. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yeah. He's always been pretty tough. The fallen nightmare's armor lay fractured and damaged, and fire seeped through its fissures like liquid. And yet, as long as Soul Edge remained, the mission was far com from complete. Yeah. 
us. fight with her for this great I'm so excited Mother, I am ready. let's go Inferno I mean, not very hard, hard, but I mean, when he goes from Nightmare to Inferno, it's definitely much a step up. Inferno let out a maddening scream of pain as Zheng Hua's final blow struck true. The fight seemed to be over, but alas, it was not. Inferno possessed unimaginable strength that made Zheng Hua only too aware of the tension and exhaustion weighing down on her body. No. Stubborn son of a. Shanghua! Ah! <laughs> Kill it? It's okay. Dogs coughing. John Lin, give me strength. Battle one. Fight. This is for my soul. Now. Ow. Ow. 
Quit grabbing me! Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> Quit grabbing me! Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I only died once so far, so... And with that, Soul Edge was no more. The subspace began to warp and crumble away. A torrent of power burst forth from the heart of Soul Edge, threatening to consume the injured Keelik and Jingwa. got me. Great. The swords once again left their mark on history, and still the march of fate continues onward. I wish I had his body. I mean, come on.
So we did it, <laughs> at least that story mode. Um, I don't know if it's got, um, hang on, can I skip? I don't know if it's got other like story modes you can play for that. The legend will never die. Yes, we know. So we can do the this mission one where we create our own character and play through like a world map kind of. Um, if that's something you guys want to see me do, I will do it. You just need to let me know. Um, also, make sure you get on my Discord or follow me on Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. Uh, let me know what games you want to see me play. Um, I'm going to try and start streaming a lot more and getting more stuff on YouTube. So that's my goal anyway. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this stream. Always be nice to one another. And we'll meet in the next video. See you guys.